Hi, my name is Jake Rosell. We're out here this weekend at Holly LS Fest West. Today we're in the Lingenfelter booth. I'm running the autocross all morning in my 2003 Corvette Z06. We're on a little bit of a lunch break right now, so we're going to run through the car and talk about what's going on. Awesome. Biggest difference between this car and a stock C5 is we have an LS7 put into it, built by Lingenfelter, of course. Makes over 650 to the tire on 91 octane pump gas because I live in California. That's the best gas we get at the pumps. So we built this car to compete in the Optima Ultimate Streetcar Invitational, and that is a streetcar series. So we really want it to be a streetcar still that you can you know, drive on the streets. You want to be able to get gas at a local pump. So it's really cool. Ingenfelter is able to get us that much power out of a car that you know we can just go to any local gas station and get fuel. Other cool things about the motor on this car: um, ARH long tube headers, exhaust all the way out the back. We have a full daily dry sump, billet pan, uh, multi-stage scavenging system, 13 quart dry sump put where the factory battery used to be, down all the way to the frame rail or to the bottom. Um, that really helps, obviously, this car is built for the road course and we wanted it to survive. The motor's been set down on the chassis about half an inch over what stock is, mainly because the daily allows you to get it that low. Um, air raid intake on the car. Um, as far as body mods, we've done a lot of stuff on the front. The uh, car has a full fiberglass nose, fiberglass splitter, and then I flat bottom the car all the way from the leading edge of the splitter here, all the way back to where the floor is. Again, I wanted it to be streetable, so I actually designed the splitter so it flexes up, and so you can get it down driveway still. Um, RHR performance, canards. We have forge line wheels, best in the business. I've yet to bend one. They're incredibly strong, incredibly light. Willwood disc brakes. This is our prototype, new finish. It's available now. Um, Willwood DTC BP30 pads. Um, full floating rotors. Multi piece, of course. Um, that's pretty much it for the front of the car, other than a DeWitt's radiator. And we have these Track Spec Motorsports hood vents that really took a lot of weight out of the hood and get a lot of the heat out. And you'll also notice I've lightened up a lot of the structure on the inside of the hood as well. The paint on the car, this isn't a factory Electron Blue car, but the color is actually a custom PPG color. It's a little bit lighter than Electron Blue because I wanted to pop in the sun a little bit more. So you notice it has a lot more flake in it. It really shows the blue off really well and the gradient between light to dark is beautiful. I love this color. The car's painted a couple times. Fortunately, as a road race car, it gets pretty beat up. Um, interior mods on the car. Full Sparco seats, Sparco steering wheel, Sparco suede seat uh, steering wheel, Delrin shift knob, burst shifter. Um, the dash has all been blocked, and so has the lower door panels. That gives it a nice suede look to it. Uh, farther back, we have another set of forge line wheels. For tires on the car, run Falcon RG615K pluses. 315s all the way around, allows me to rotate. Really helps out because I drive this car everywhere. Road course, autocross, speed stop. And it really helps be able to rotate the tires around so you don't wear them out too quickly. Borla exhaust back custom made rear spoiler best to show did this really cool feature on the rear where they painted it as satin black but left the pinstripe around the edge a nice gloss clear um, so it really pops you can see the boiler tips peeking out the back and yeah that's the basic rundown of my car